everyone. This is Sylvia with Running With Needles and Scissors with my best half, Robert, here, and the hooligans right here, and Maisie right there. Uh, as soon as we sat down on the couch, everybody jumped on because, you know, the FOMO, and right. we have to be with Mom and Dad. Anyways, it is Sunday afternoon. Um, let me look at my watch. 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Goodness. 30, yeah, 30. it's almost 3 o'clock. It's right after 3 o'clock. So this is Sunday, the 29th of October, and I'm jumping on real quick to do a release video of my Christmas releases, um, and Rob is here because he's just an integral part of what I do. Couldn't do it without him, right? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tell them what you do in, oh, in this thanks. endeavor of ours. So well, explain what you do. What your I is. do whatever task I'm given by the... <laughs> Um, CEO, headmistress, oh um, uh, Sylvia, and uh, I also handle uh, shipping and the mail runs and helping with uh, supplies and helping to put things together and whatever I can do to support Sylvia because it's just well, such a neat thing she's doing. Even more so, what he forgets is that he gets the patterns ready for That's printing. That's true. That is a lot of work a lot with of work. a lot of revisions and... Um, yeah, but Daddy was mauling her a little too much. <laughs> so she comes over here for safety. Um, look at look at Maisie. Yeah. Maisie's looking out the window, um, keeping an eye on on the squirrel situation. So she may bolt if she sees something. Um, so yeah, so it, it takes days. Yeah. Um, because we go back and forth, back and forth, and look at things. And you know, even though the pattern may be done. Everything that goes around it is a lot of work. And mm -hmm. I know anybody else that publishes patterns, especially if you publish them to, to, a, to a printer, uh, that a printer uh, takes them and, and uh, prints them, um, there's, there's just a lot to be done. And, and it's at least two trips to the printer, uh, one to look at the proofs, you know, and then, and then if there's anything to be discussed and, and um, you know, of course, then to, to pick up your final product. Right. But I could not do it without him. He does the research mostly for oh, yeah. um, when we when we have enough info that we can track down um, the stitcher. He does that. Uh, sometimes I have to jump in and, and dig because I have a better eye as to what possibly could be the hints. Um, mm -hmm. I just don't have the time. But right. uh, sometimes he gets stuck and, you know, I've, I've uh, participated in searches. Um, yeah, he does all the shipping. So he packs everything. We pull together a lot mm -hmm. of times, and but he packs everything and you know gets the label on it and either uh, gets them out to the mailbox, to the post office, or just gives them to me. And I have we have a really great, great um, mailman. His name is Mike. Um, he comes and picks up a lot of times okay. uh, if I text him. So I have his personal number. I just text like, hey, I got to pick up today. And he'll swing by and pick it up. He's so, he is so great. He is 70, I think. I just live in fear that he's going to retire. I'm going to have to talk to him about it next time and see if, he's, <laughs> if, he's, if he has any plans to retire. I hope not, selfishly. Um, yeah, and he also, poor Rob, yeah. you have to, I constantly ask his opinion. He's totally out of his uh, element, element yes. on that. I'm like, does this look good? What do you think of this color? And he's like, oh my gosh, get some, get the girlfriend, ask your girlfriends, don't ask me. Um, <laughs> but sometimes he's the only one, you know, the only, well. I do my I best. ask the dogs, they don't, they don't really give me good feedback, but um, yeah, no, he, he tries, you know, and I think as time goes by, mm -hmm. you'll probably develop a better eye. Right. Right. He's slowly catching the lingo mm -hmm. as well. Um, although a lot of times when it comes to back to pattern publishing, it's been a while and he's forgotten a right, lot. Right, right. <laughs> I'm just like, it's true. you know, I taught you this last time. Why, why don't you remember? But bottom line, I just love having something that we can do together. And uh, I enjoy that, and I, I love uh, helping you out. So Yeah, thanks. That's and every time I go to the printer, I always tell them, yeah, this one almost caused a divorce, like one pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Some patterns have been rather challenging. Um, yes. Insert pattern name version 27. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Nah. Um, but especially if there's a finishing element to it oh good night 
<laughs> That's, that seems to be really yeah. a difficult thing to get out the door. Um, but I just wanted to let you know everything that he does behind the scenes that frees me up a little bit All right. to... Um, yeah, and so, I mean, if there's any questions, my email's out there. I'm the uh, rwnas site manager at gmail.com address. Maybe that, I'll put that, that goes, down below. <laughs> yeah, that goes to me directly. All complaints. And, uh, That's the complaint department. Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't always view them as complaints. I view them as, you know, hey, did you see this? Because everybody knows as soon as you're working on something for a long, long time, your eyes get used to seeing what you're seeing and you don't always see the, the mistakes or the errors or the things that you can fix. So, and I always want to, you know, provide a, a, a good, good customer facing, um, stitcher facing product for still. So, you know, if I'm missing anything, let me know. Right. If you have any troubles or difficulties getting to something, let me know. That's the only way we can get it fixed. So I do right. always appreciate that. Well, and you can see that Maisie has really settled in nicely. Um, yeah. She has... Yeah, she's, she's a good girl. House, seems to be house trained now. We haven't had any accidents in a long, yeah. long time. Um, you know, she stopped barking at him. That's, yes. that's good. I like that. <laughs> Every I time he her. showed up, she's like, ah! Yeah. You know, she had a little bit of man trauma. Yeah. Um, you know, her and Millie seem to, Millie now feels comfortable enough to defend herself and, um, you know, make her wishes known. Maisie, she's so funny. She'll come up above Millie. Her legs are nice and long, and she'll she'll just like wedge Millie's head between her legs. Right, and hold her there. <laughs> Poor thing. Right, huh? You're so, yeah. such an abused little girl now. So it's very fun to watch them together. They have a good time. Yeah, and um, she's just been such a good girl. And we, she's a good sleeper, which we're very thankful for. And and. Yeah. Um, She's just a love. She enjoys the cuddles. She, she, you know, she'll always come and like rest your head, her head on your lap. And that's just so very sweet. And like, if she wants something, um, you know, she'll just come mm -hmm. and lay, to, lay her head on your lap, especially when I'm working at the computer right. or stitching and she'll just look at me and I'm like, okay, you know, what, what you need little girl anyways. And she's almost fully healthy. Yep. We still have a little bit of a ear infection um, that she's had since the beginning, one ear, but we're almost, I think we've almost conquered that. So good news. We're, we're finding our, our, our rhythm and our normal here. She still walks me down the street. Um, we desperately mm -hmm. need to take her to obedience training. Not that she's not, not obedient, but oh my gosh, the walking, she's just getting stronger and stronger and, um, you know, she can really pull me. So, uh, we gotta, we gotta nip that. So I wonder, one day she'll yank me off my feet. Mm. But yeah, that's the Maisie update. Oh, she's falling asleep. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. okay. All right. So now without further ado, I'm, you know, I should have worn red or something, but, uh, it wasn't uh, in the cards today. Um, and I just gotten done walking the dog. So I was like, yep, we're just going to film this video real quick. And then still lots to do. I am leaving for Germany on Sunday. So a week from now. And mm. my normal floss tube is just going to have to wait. I have been head down working, working, working. Um, once I got back from, uh, Lisa, which you can see a video of me and Lisa together. Uh, uh Lisa's, uh, Floss Tube is Lady Hizla Presents. It was a fun video to make, but uh, after I got home from that, I just really had to focus. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, just giving priority to, to, to what I need to get done. And once I get back from Germany, probably after Thanksgiving, because the kids are coming, mm -hmm. I will get back and do a normal Floss Tube. All right. So now let's talk about the new releases. They're still in there. Ooh. Okay, turn it around. There we go. That's Rob's gonna heavy. hold them. It is heavy. Oh, well, we gotta show it yeah. so they can see it. Okay, so here are three pillows that I displayed them in this big old, um, bread bin. very vintage um, bread bowl that I found in big trash in Germany. I did indeed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Snag that sucker, you know, really fast, carried it home. Anyways, um, so let me just show them to you individually. This, this one will, is called Christmas Wishes. Mm -hmm. And um, 
It was stitched by my friend Miriam and finished by my friend Jan. Very fun. So we've got three wishes for you. One is rejoice. And you can see that Jan put little bells on each corner right there. And it's finished in this fabric. It's stitched on 36 count flax, just regular flax by Zweigart with Schoolhouse Red and Green with Envy, both from General Art. So, oopsie, let's do this properly. Rejoice. Then here comes Comfort and Joy. Yep, they jingle. And we finished it in this fabric. This just goes to show that you can do different finishings on, you know, it doesn't all have to look the same. And here we have Good, good Tidings. tidings. Let me put my fingers right in the middle of the design. So. All right. <laughs> it's my favorite backing. There you go. And there's this backing. Mm -hmm. And Jan, um, I sent some fabrics down, and, and Jan added one of her favorites, which is this one. But anyway, so you want to hold one up? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it closer. There we go. Ugh, these are hard. I didn't think this was going to be this hard. All right. So I was going to attach some bells to this, but haven't gotten around to it. I was going to do just a cluster of them, um, which I may still do. So rejoice, comfort and joy, and good tidings on 36 count flax with Gentle Arts, Schoolhouse Red, and Green with Envy. Lovely. Yep. And you can bling them out or keep them. Keep them simple. Oh, Millie does not like me bending over her. Oh, All right, baby. you just find your spot. Okay, there you go. Boop, there we go. All right, everybody. Okay, yeah, you're gonna settle down? <laughs> Maisie was all comfy and then Millie hopped on there. All right, the next one is called Beneath the Snow. It's very, very sweet, very simple. It's done on 36 count uh, Stormy Night by Zweigart. Again, very straightforward fabric. Um, the finishing done by Jan again. She had this shorter tinsel. I sent a bit, little bit longer tinsel from Lady.Creates, but she had this smaller tinsel and I think it's perfect. Um, and then, well, I really should not put my fingers in the middle of it. There you go. A good look and this is the backing, but you know, any any fabric. This is from a couple years ago. Um, I, I even forget. I really like that. What, um, what the, the fabric name is, but you know, it's not, not super important. You pick what you like. This is, this is the size on 36 count. If you stitch it a little smaller, even this size is a good ornament size. I just didn't have her finish it as an ornament. And then we are re-releasing Noel Buttons as pattern only and also included is um, a conversion that you can change Noel into love. So you get a V and a heart. I'm going to show you the love button. There you go. I'm going to insert the video of the Noel Buttons right here. And um, you can see what I've, well, in a minute. Um, that was a hot mess because the buttons kept falling off. Anyways, here's love. Also a little hard to see. I, I don't want to tilt it too much because, you know, then we'll have a repeat. Um, and the reason you're only seeing love right now is because N, the N, has taken a stroll somewhere. And I think uh, Missy, I think I caught her chewing on it one day and was like, what do you have there? And was absolutely aghast and put it somewhere safe. And that's where it rests now. So all I have left is is, is love. you can stitch with your favorite red. I used an HDF, so a hand dyed fibers from Vicki Clayton, but take your favorite red and um, stitch those two up. They don't take long. Yeah. And as my husband, when he did the write up, he said, this will take you from Christmas through Valentine's. Yeah. Really simple, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's what I've got. The patterns will be headed out to the shops this coming week. 
And so if you call your shop and ask them for Christmas wishes beneath the snow and Noel buttons by running with needles and scissors, those three, um, you know, they can just reach out to us and order them. There's a few shops on auto, um, a handful that will definitely have them. And um, amongst, I won't name all of them, but um, Hobby House, um, Garon Stitchery, um, off the top of my head, um, JT Stitching Corner, and there's a few others that I, I don't have in my head. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's it. And um, if you want to sign up on my Instagram, I'm all, I haven't been real active because I've been working really hard, but you know, though there are updates there. Mm -hmm. And if you want to subscribe here, um, I don't know how far I am away from 5,000. It's not much. Boy, I sure would appreciate it. It would be fun to go over 5,000. And um, yeah, I'll do something when that happens. A little, a little, celebra yes, a little celebration. So um, that's it. Just heads down working hard. Right. You know, watching the leaves fall down. We have beautiful fall color here. Uh, but the leaves are coming down in gobs. And yeah, getting ready for the holiday season. It's going to be a push because market is yeah. right around the corner right the <laughs> I'm a little bit little bit it's the first first week in march so i'm a little bit panicked but everything will work out i'll have done what i have get done i finally had to just tell myself you know it's not brain surgery nobody's gonna die <laughs> and uh you know if i if i don't bring everything to market that i thought i would it'll be okay um and, right. right yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you all have a wonderful thanksgiving Yes, we wish you yeah. a wonderful Thanksgiving, and um, I'll see you after. And until that time, mm -hmm. stay happy, healthy, and terrific. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.